Hello Year 10, it's Miss Bailey here. In this video we're going to be looking at titration calculations. So this is going to involve us working out the amount of substances in moles and using that to calculate an unknown concentration. So last lesson we looked at how to carry out titrations practically and we saw that we were measuring a precise amount of volume that had been added to a fixed volume of another substance uh, using an indicator to determine the end point of this neutralisation reaction. We looked at how we can use concordant results to calculate the average um, titra for that experiment and that's the value that we're going to be using in these calculations in order to determine an unknown concentration because here we now have two known volumes and we would have a known concentration of one of those two substances, either the substance in the clinical flask or the substance in the burette. So these are gonna be the five steps which we follow when we carry out these titration calculations. So I'm going to go through the worked example first. So the first thing that we can do is we write out the ratio of the moles from the balanced equation. So using the large values that are in front of the molecules and where there aren't numbers present, that indicates to us that there is a one. So one, two, one, two. And then next is converting our volumes from centimetre cubed to decimetre cubed. So here we've got 25 centimetre cubed. And if we divide that by 1000, we get 0 0.0250 decimetre cubed. And similarly, 22.8 centimetre cubed becomes 0 0.0228 decimetre 